Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Another uh, video regarding the wonderful beast of a camcorder, the Canon XA40 professional camcorder from Canon. I upgraded to this guy from the uh, Vixia HFR, HFR800, which I'm using to shoot this video with. Today's topic, as I continue to learn more things about this uh, delightful piece of technology, is regarding uh, the SD storage and the various options for using two SD cards. So when I upgraded to this guy, I only had one full-sized SD which I was using in the camera I am recording this on. It's just a standard SanDisk full-size SD. Now you can use micro SD with an adapter. However, in the experience of many people, including me, you're better off using full SD to avoid any potential issues. So this is my original card. It's nothing, nothing special or fancy. It's just a SanDisk SD XE1. I know there's different classes of memory. I don't really understand much about them. So I've always just gone with standard SanDisk. I've yet to have a problem. Perhaps because I never, I almost never record in 4, 4K. I'm mostly recording in 1080p. So that was this guy. And today I said, you know what? As I have two SD cards available to me now, I may as well use the second one. So I went ahead and bought another SD card. And you can see they just fit side by side here and it's uh they did, i tried to get the same one but they didn't have it in stock so they've got one it looks like to me the write speed is a bit slower it's 100 megabytes a second as opposed to 120 so i'm not sure if that can even do 4k but I'm, it's, it's probably never going to actually use it it's just there for uh for backup so i'm going to put this guy in well not really for backup but for over capacity if i fill up the first one which as i'm going to show you now is pretty unlikely to ever actually happen so more likely it will actually be for backup if this for some reason fails at least i'll have a second one in the machine now there's this little visor that you just flip down to protect them and if you don't do that the system will give out to you and say hey put down the put down the visor now what i want to show you guys is um the various ways you can use your two memory cards because there's a couple of options here in the menu so uh if i go into menu and i go i'm going to just use the physical control. I'm going to turn off the camera light here so you can get, you guys can see the screen a bit better. Menu 1, menu 1, menu 2. Yeah, it's going to be under this one. So it's the second main menu, uh, the format menu and all that good stuff. And then you need to jump over to page number 2 and here you're going to have everything related to recording media. So the first thing it says is you have an option, now that I have the two cards in, I can actually choose to put photos and videos on different memory cards, which is quite a nice functionality. Um, for my use, I'm using B, as I said, for overflow. So in other words, if I, for some weird reason, filled up 256 gigabytes worth of memory, I would just want it to go straight on to B. So I'm going to keep everything on the same card. Now here's the main option, dual slash real re relay recording. You have standard recording, dual recording, relay recording. Now, I've just read the manual, so I hope that I have this accurate. Please verify with yourselves in the manual. Dual recording is going to record to both cards at the same time, right? So that's going to record everything to card A and card B. You might say, well, what's the point of that? The point would be backup. So you'd be recording a backup, a backup of everything onto one card. Standard recording will just be standard. So in other words, I could just say, well, I'm going to do B for photos, A for video, and that's the way the camera will work. Relay recording is what I'm actually going to go for. And you can see, if I just zoom in a little bit, the symbol, it says it's kind of pushed over. So relay recording is A is going to fill up, and we're going to automatically go over to B. And then the other thing you can see is available space and memory. So I have a nice little schematic here where I can see my two SD cards. And I can see the total space is 256 gigs. Uh, I've used up 10 gigs at the current time on the first card. And as you can see, it gives you also a little breakdown of the various codecs so you can see now if i use mp4 codec at 17 mega bits per second i have 31 hours of recording time so i don't know how i'd fill up this to be honest i mean i'd need to kind of given that it's more than the hours on a day maybe i'd be on some crazy 24 hour a day of my life 48 hours in my life madness and i fill up the card but realistically it's probably not going to happen but you can see anyway what your remaining time is on the card and if I use the XF, but this is actually a little bit more, more credible that you might fill it up. If you use the XF AVC codec at 45, 
you've got 12 hours and if you went up to 4k you probably would get less so if you're using xf avc and four channel and recording all data conference it is possible you'd actually burn through a lot of memory and i've got look at this this is insane at 16 to 9 aspect ratio i can take 234,800 uh, photos so combined i can probably take almost half a million photos uh, with all the storage here then i can see my class b i won't bore you guys with the details same business but it does detect the class you can see there it says class u1 and then gives you all the details okay so we've got half a terabyte now memory in uh, the final thing that you can do is you can choose to uh, format the memory cards separately right so you can initialize uh, either memory card uh, one by one if you want to do that uh, but um, they are pretty much good to go so that's basically how the dual uh, SD card recording works on the XA40 and as, I, as I've said before I think the XA50 and 55 pretty much function uh, the same way in this regard. Hope that video was useful. Thank you guys for watching.